exponential equation 7 exponent x squared plus 4x plus 3 minus 7 in exponent x squared plus 4x plus 2 is equal to 6 divided by 7. First of all, let, uh, let uh, x is element of uh, integer. And now, now let uh, factor the first term and to make uh, the same factor as the second term here. The same factor we can write in this form. 7 in exponent x squared plus 4x plus 2 times 7 in exponent 1 is a minus of the second uh, term is in the form how it is. I am not changing anything here. Plus 2 is equal to the 6 divided by 7. And now as we see here, 7 in exponent x squared plus 4x plus 2 is a common factor for both terms. And let's factor it. x squared plus 4x plus 2. Here is a 7 in exponent 1 is just 7 minus 1 is equal to the 6 divided by 7. And now what remains here uh, remains a 6. 7x squared plus 4x plus 2 and here is a times 6. And this one is equal to the 6 divided by 7. Now let's divide everything by, uh, by a 6 because we have a both sides of the same factor 6. So let's divide by 6 of both sides. If we are dividing by 6 of both sides, this side here and this side here, so 6 with the 6 we can simplify and 6 with the 6 here simplifies. What remains is a 7 in exponent x squared plus 4x plus 2 is equal to the 1 over 7. According to the properties of the exponents, 1 over 7 I can write as a 7 in exponent minus 1. And so let me write this one, 7 in exponent minus 1. But the left side, I will write in the way how it is. 7x squared plus 4x plus 2. And uh, the, according to the rules of the exponents, if the base is uh, the same, so then uh, in the, an equation, then the exponents are uh, equal with each other. So here the base is a 7, 7. So this uh, exponent here is equal with this exponent. And we can write x squared plus 4x plus 2 is equal to the minus 1. And to solve this quadratic equation on one side, we have to set equal to 0. Plus 1, plus 1 both sides. This we can cancel. And now we have a x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So the good factors of 3 to reach this 4 here and to factor in terms of the integers are 3 and 1. And now are a positive, positive 3, positive 1. Positive 3 times positive 1 is a positive 3. Plus 3 plus 1 is a plus 4. So they satisfy the condition to factor this quadratic equation into binomials. So now we have a x plus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And according to the zero factor theorem, we can, affect, we can take a factor x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0 and we solve for x. But here I'm talking, taking the shortcut. The shortcut is uh, x is equal to the minus 3. If we are solving, x is equal to the minus 3. The, the other solution is uh, here, if we are taking this uh, factor, equate with 0 and solve for x, x is going to turn out to be x is a minus 1. So those are two solutions. So x is equal to minus 3 and x is minus 1. And minus 3 and minus 1 are element of uh, the integers. So we already found the solution for this equ equation that can uh, satisfy the two possible uh, solutions that satisfy this equation is x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to minus 1. So you can check uh, this uh, x minus 3 and x minus 1 does it hold but this one I'm not doing by myself but I'm leaving for you.